Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Acura Honda Classic. Behind me is a 1999 Honda Civic SI EM1 in favorite electron blue. What we're doing today is we'll be doing a set of OEM fog lights. We're gonna walk you guys through from beginning to the end, and let's get started. First, let's take a look at what comes to the OEM fog light kit. As we open the box, find ourselves a perfect instruction how to install the fog lights two fog light assembly, and these are glass. Two covers that go on the outside of the bumper. Two harnesses, one go on the outside uh, for the fog light. The second one is for the interior. Then we have some extra brackets here, along with some uh, relays, tie straps, and hardware. Last but not least, OEM fog light switch. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a bumper down so Brian and the team can go ahead and get a bumper trim for us. While they're doing that, we'll go ahead and work on the interior, getting the harness installed. All right, I just removed the bumper. Save some time, I'll go ahead and send a bump to Brian and the team so they can get the bumper nice and trim so we can install the fog light. In the meantime, let me install the harness. To get to the interior harness, first thing we're gonna do is remove the lower dash covers, then the upper and lower steering column covers. And once we get those removed, then we remove the bracket inside the dash. All right, the bracket and the panel are all out. Let's take a look at the harness. Uh, to start off with, we have this one pin connector. This is our power supply. Uh, moving forward, we have this four pin connector. This is for the relay that actually comes with the kit. A one pin body ground come with the new bolt. Also an inline fuse and also the connector for the fog light switch. These two connectors is for our headlight combination switch where we get a signal from. Uh, this should be a pretty easy install. Let's get going. All right, everything pretty much put back together. The last thing we're gonna do is install the fog light switch. So this is a lower dash panel. The fog light switch go right over here. All we have to do is pop this out and install the new switch. Just like that.
The interior harness is all done. Let's go ahead and get the outside harness knocked out. Thanks, Mike. So we got the bumper over here, and we're gonna go ahead, outline it, we'll drill a couple holes, and from there we can hit our hole saw up in there and get a nice cutout. So let's check it out. So what we're doing right here is we're just tracing that line. Now, if you didn't have any fancy tools, you wouldn't be able to do this, but we do. So we're able to use our marker, and then we'll drill a couple holes, and then we'll cut along that line that we see there in green. So we're using these holes so we can fit our aerosol into the hole and carry along that edge that we outlined in green. Okay, so now we're gonna drill our hole for the hardware mounting. We have to look for the nipple and we found it right here. It's a little bit of a nipple right there and that's a, that dot signifies where I need to put this drill bit. So that's what I'm gonna do right now using precision accuracy drilling. Wow, hole in one. Hole in two. Hole in two. Hole in two. So that easy, we got our holes cut out and we got our two holes drilled. So Mike, back to you so you can go ahead and put the fog lights in and light it up. Thanks Brian, the bumper came out really nice. The next thing we have to do is mount the bracket and install the fog lights. All we got left now is to mount up the bracket to the fog light and we should be good to go. Brackets are in. Let's go ahead and get it mounted on the bumper. So the fog lights and the covers went on the bumper perfectly. Before we put everything back together, the owner of the car actually wanted to put the original emblem back on the grill. I personally like it without the emblem. Comment below and let us know what you think you want it without the emblem or with the emblem. Front emblem is in, let's get the bumper on the car.
we're not quite done yet. We actually have two more things before we finish this car. First thing we have here is a brand new USDM Type R B series valve cover. And I think this will really set off the engine bay. Second thing we have, OEM factory floor mats. The OEM fog light, the brand new type of valve covers and the factory format definitely enhance the look on the inside and outside. Hope you like our videos. If you do, make sure you support us by hitting the like, subscribe, and share the videos with your friends and family. Don't forget to check out our website, AccuHondaClassic.com to pick up your favorite apparel and merchandise. Thank you again so much for watching our videos. We hope to see you guys on the next episode.